So... Let's check. We'll do it from the bottom. So, Mo Shao Mo has... No, he does not have three points. Yo, he has three points. Right? He got zero points in the first game, right? Mo Shao Mo with three points. 1874 with one point. Uh, damn, it's so hard to read this. 277 with 10 points. Doyen. I can't, I can't figure this out at all. Whatever. They have points. They have points. Billy is the one with nine points, I think. Who won the first game? Oh, that was the that was the watermelon guy. He has ten points. Yeah, watermelon guy on ten points. I did it, Chasio. I had to go play for a, a gathering. It went it went very well. I had around forty minutes to practice twelve songs. Well, I didn't know nine of the songs. But luckily, I'm really good at reading. Uh, I've gotten really good at reading sheet music, so I, I'm actually managed to play all of them, uh, even well. So it went, it went nice. First place is one thousand euro, and there is some doyen incentive as well. I don't know how that works. So no shrink ray this game. We do see vault. We do see rapture. We do see seats. So good late game relics. Card is there for something interesting. Is 1874 gonna gamble this game? I feel like if you're in a bad mood, you gamble this game. No, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> 400 candies. Oh, no, it's you get 1,000 euro. Was SSS the guy who got lost plays first game? He did, right? So SSS is the one on three points. Find games over King. PKY, uh, once you need to find higher ranked lobbies, right? You need to use the password 5544. You go to uh, find private lobby and then you uh, type in the password 5544. And it should show you the higher ranked lobbies, which would be rook, queen uh, lobbies. If that's your question. But if you're new to the game, you should not be looking for queen lobbies right now. That sounds weird. <laughs> yeah. So, PKY... Um... Sadly, it just takes a long time for those lobbies to uh, to start. Uh, you can cre create your own lobbies and then hope they fill earlier. Um, sadly, I can't really help you playing in China because to play in China, you need to have your account set up to work with Perfect World. If you can figure out how to set your account up with Perfect World, then if you look at my screen right now, right, you see here, this is the current password for the China lobbies, 1515. Uh, you need to be a member, you need to have like a, a QQ account and be invited to the password group. And I can't really help you with that. I can share the password when I'm online, but I can't really, like, I don't really have the knowledge to help you get your own QQ validated account and get into the group. 
So yeah, sorry. I'll share the password when I'm online, but I can't do much more than that. Exactly. Like the, the issue with having a QQ account is it needs both a QQ account and a perfect world account. They need to be validated and connected to someone in China. I got help from one of the Chinese players doing it for me. Um, so that's why I'm not, that's why I'm not, I can't help you guys more is because I didn't do it myself. Um, I know you can, on some sketchy online sites, you can buy, you can buy, you can have people, you can pay people to help them do it. Um, uh, I think you can do, get like, maybe buy it over, like, is it called Taobao and maybe on Fiverr or something, but I can't really tell you how to get it done or where to get it done because it's not how I did it and I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know how to guide you to the correct people. Oh, open prediction, yes. You can predict, guys. You have five minutes. So, I wonder where people are going to go this game. This guy is buying Ogo. <laughs> is he going to go leaner again? <laughs> I mean, it, it is a good build. It is very strong. Like, timing-wise, I think it's really good for lobbies such as this. Same as 9 elf. Two people win streaking. 1874 and 7-7. He has not played 4K yet. That's impressive. This looks like some gobble, gob, goblin drain eye shit. Goblin four rogues are all out. Player winning streak, drain eye. The fire girl also changed him. The jungler has become a bad guy. Three people streaking, a 77 losing. He lost his streak. This timber saw two star, it is. <laughs> Grab. You guys all know that if I was the one playing here, yeah, see, I would have more timber saws. I would have two timber saws, two stars. What is this one timber saw, two star? <laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic. Absolute dog shit. Where are the other timber saws? Get, get the nine timber saws by now. Come on, dude. Become a Meepo. Well, 1874 has a really, really... Meepo has changed. Meepo has changed. Meepo, huh? Oh, these are amazing relics. Holy fucking shit. He's not going to go Monopoly, but you could go Monopoly here and go 2-star. You guys all know I would be 2-star, two 2-cost. Two I would be thinking about doing it. Probably what he's going to do is he's going to go um, Vault here. He's going to go 7. Okay. I would not have kept the double bounty over a Meepo or an Enigma, I think. I think that's greed I'm not sure I enjoy. I wonder if he takes another streak here. If he does, it's going to be a fucked up game for him. No. Well, good relic for 1874. He had a bad relic in the other games, so this is nice to see. We'll see if he has a good game with a good relic. Nap. Game.
They are playing a Kia Fro. Three people played it in the first game. Pipo SF for Finn. Is does he have uh Monopoly or uh, yeah. So late Monopoly for him. Rapture for Doyen. I like Lin's uh, choices. PKY, sorry to say, but that is 100 million percent correct. The IKEA nerf did nothing at all. The IKEA nerf is one of the worst changes they've ever made in this game because it was absolutely pointless change. It made IKEA not at all weaker. It, like, it literally did not make it weaker at all. We saw p three people go IKEA in the first game. It just depends on the relics they get and it depends on whether or not people are streaking and the timings. Last lobby was pretty fast, so that's why we didn't see anyone go Akia. Also, if you want to counter Akia, it's pretty easy to counter with 9 Elf, which people were going for in both lobbies. But Akia is still, like Undead Akia is still very, 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 very way too strong. The Akia nerf didn't do anything at all. Like it didn't, it, it was such a senseless change. Is he going to roll here? So he's going Goblin Drain Eye. At least he's playing it to reach late game. He might <laughs> 9 elf again, okay. With Rapture this, sorry, with Vault this time. Seeing a lot of the same things. What is Mo doing? And what does Mo have? He has Vault. This looks like it's going to be a Demons game. Okay. I mean, Demons, Vault into Demons is very good. If he finds more priests, this could be a very nice uh, thing to set up. This also kind of counters Nine Elf really well, so good for him. Yeah, definitely Meepo SF. I remember I've seen some people ban uh, Akir in Meepo SF, and it um, it makes me happy. And I was, I've been like, that is such a trash ban. Do Drain I ban, Drain I ban is much better. And I'm really happy to see that uh, the top players, they ban the way I do. Like, because it both in in Meepo SF and in Nine Elf they ban the exact way I do, so I'm happy to see that I'm doing the correct thing. SSS with egg, nap. Okay, this is going to be under the key. It's not the same ban. They both cost 8 gold, but uh, Green Eye Ban removes a 2 cost and a 1 cost more, where Akia Ban removes only 1 4 cost because you can't remove the Nyx from the uh, equation anyways. And with the way bans work, it is straight up always better to ban Drain Eye over Akia unless you're looking for uh, Drain Eyes. But that's not how it works, Yuami. Banning one cost and two cost, or banning a four cost, like you ban four units and you ban. So the way the way it works, it's because a lot of people don't understand how bans work. So I I'll, I'll explain it to you. I understand why you're confused. I understand why you you say what you say. So the shop opens. Let's see if anyone has the shop open. 
Basically, no one has the shop open. The shop opens, and you see a, a three cost here. Now you see. Uh, okay, I'll 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 explain to you this way, Yami Hope. So you ban Drain Eye, okay? And in this shop, you originally would have there was going to be a bounty hunter on the first square. What is that bounty hunter gonna get rolled into? Is it gonna get rolled into another one cost, or is it just gonna get rolled into another unit? What do you think? Because this is where people misunderstand how bans work, and this is how people misunderstand why you should ban one thing or the other. There was supposed to be a one uh, a bounty hunter on the first square, right? But you banned Drain Eye. What are you going to see on that square instead of a bounty hunter? Is it a different one cost unit, or is it just a different unit altogether? What do you think? Anyone in chat can answer this. What they think? Yeah, it's not an answer. Yeah, it doesn't tell me what you think. So, Master Marker, you think it's another one cost? Fro thinks it's another one cost? Masha thinks it's a different unit? Angel, we thinks it's another one cost? Well, I can tell you guys... I can tell you guys that uh, out of those four answers, only one of you were correct. Yes. So you would think that when you ban Orc, right? When you ban Orc and you see and the Orcs are replaced, you would think that they get replaced with other two cost units. But this is actually not how the game is coded. The game is coded, don't ask me why, but the game is coded in such a way that actually what supposedly happens is that it is just a different unit all together that you see. So this actually means that the IKEA ban is much worse because you only ban three units, right? You also ban a four cost, which is worse than banning a one cost and a two cost because the one cost and a two cost ban has a higher chance of getting re-rolled into a good unit than a four cost ban does it make sense because there's such a low chance of seeing a four cost unit anyways but a lot of people don't know this um yeah it's based on the percentage of your level yes so this mean, means that when you're rolling for two cost it makes sense to ban orc for two reasons First of all, orc ban is good because you ban one one cost and you ban three two costs. So you ban a lot of the units you can't see a lot of. You might be asking, but Oliver, wouldn't it just make sense to ban trolls when you're rolling for two cost? Then troll ban is also good when you're rolling for two cost. It might sound weird, but the difference is that of the two cost that you still see, there is a higher chance that you see units that are usually useless, which would be the orcs. So there's like two there's like two different avenues. Yes and no user, because you still have to remember that the two costs you do see can still be either useless or useful or useless units, right? Because uh, if you ban trolls, for example, right? You ban trolls, uh, when you see a two cost, it can still be a useless two cost. So it's both about optimizing the amount of useful units you see, but it's also about optimizing the amount of uh, useful role, roles you potentially can get in the shop. Does it make sense? It's a, it's a little bit complicated. We talked a lot about how uh, what would be the best bands for 3 cost sin. If you go back three months or so, when people play 3 cost sin, right? And we, we realized that when you play 3 cost sin, Humans were a really good ban, but I don't even know what the best ban was. I think Orc was an even better ban for three cost sin or some shit like that. Hello, Hulken. No. Same haircut. I'm just not wearing my cap. 
I do need to wash my hair soon. Yeah, so bands work in a really mysterious way. Anyways. Very Scandinavian. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Best band for demons is uh, humans. So you said the reason humans is such a good band is because it removes... Uh, a lot of three cost units and it removes a lot of four cost units. Like Humans is just a very, very solid ban because it does optimize your shop quite a lot. And the moment you begin rolling, you don't want to use any humans anyways. So like you're removing a, a lot of units that, yeah, it's, it's, it's very like human ban is very good. So he's going to go faceless here. I mean, Let's see where the rest of the lobby is going. 1874, after some really bad games, he plays this new build. Wait, what is this build? Have you guys ever seen this before? Wait, so you play Goblin? Oh my god, and you use the Goblin healing and the Drain Eye synergy. Oh my god, this is revolutionary. I never thought about this. Wait, what you you could call this build Grain Eye, maybe, maybe it's maybe Doblin. That is such a cool build. Holy shit! Damn, I hope they buff like Bounty Hunter some shit so we can see this build more. That is insane. Oh my god, and it's defensive because you get the armor from the goblin buff. And then it's offensive because you get the pure damage. Oh my god, that is so cool. What an absolutely revolutionary build. Kappa. <laughs> and then you lose to demons. <laughs> Yeah, he got us. He he sadly got the wrong card. He probably wanted to go uh, gyro shit. Looks. He can do like monk warlock things. We'll see where he goes. Oh, what is this? Forakir, and you use undead units with Forakir. Wait, that is so cool. Oh my god, for a Kieran Undead? Oh, I've never thought about this before. Really smart. That is really genius. I've tried Enigma Monk. Yeah, it's good. I mean, this kind of slay. And huge with me for SF. I mean, we also know what this build is. Yeah, I miss Vonk as well. The Vonk days were the best days of my life. <laughs> they, they, they weren't the end. I, I, I'm taking that back. But the Vonk days were good. We can never play Vonk again because they changed Viper. Now Viper is big poop. Yeah, for anyone on YouTube, if you didn't watch Vonk, my very first YouTube video, Vonk, find it. It is the best game I've ever played. It is. It should be my highest viewed video. It's, it's insanely good. I I promise you, you, you should watch it. Crazy good game.
So Fro, I think the issue Nine Warriors has is that Nine Warriors loses very hard to Lena builds and it loses very hard to Demon builds. With that being said, I do think Nine Warriors with Shrink could be fun to watch, but no one plays it except me, basically. Well, Fro, Nine Warriors is just... It's very, 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 very bad against a lot of different builds, right? It's so bad against, like... Any of these pure damage magic builds, Nine Warriors just is so, so, so trash against. And the reason people are not playing five dragons is because dragons is quite weak. Dragons are very, very, very slow, and they lose in the late game to most of the other builds in the game right now. So playing dragons is usually pretty bad unless you want to lose. Honestly, it's not a, it's not strong at all. Mm, so, uh, Calgon, uh, damage both scales with how fast it triggers, but sorry, monk buff, of course, get better, better the faster you do damage, but monk buff also, monk buff, muff, monk synergy also has a higher chance of triggering on more damage. So, the very low damage from Darkseer is actually not that good with monks. Also, Darkseer dies pretty easily. I don't know HSEO, I don't know why they, but it's not all of the guys who did it. It's not all of the guys who did it. It is mostly uh, Lin Huge who does this always. I don't know why. You could say that maybe he does it because he wants to trigger the elemental buff here, right? So he's doing it to trigger elementals, hoping to do more damage. That could reasonably be the idea, right? So you trigger elementals on these making sure that the Meepo doesn't die early. I guess it also protects from potential sins or from, like, Blink Dagger. Like, maybe that's it, but but it is interesting. For sure. And now he switches. Well. Interesting, he actually loses here. I thought he would do well against this. I actually think the Blink SF is not that good for that. It is. It is, Kalgon. It is. If you mouse over the Monk Synergy and you hold down your Alt key, it will tell you that a uh, higher chance has a higher chance of... Uh, higher damage has a higher chance of triggering. But apparently, I'm the only one in the game who reads descriptions. Marcy Trident. True, 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 usually. This is some trash Marcy, Marcy items, though. But really good against... Like, the Trident is very good, but the rest of the items are not. four level 10. Did he use card? Did you see the... Was it my video, Bad Bull? My, uh, my, my Bad Rider Monk? I'll go it. Okay. My Bad Rider Monk game was so good. Genius game. Yeah, amazing game, Bad Balls. I love that game. <laughs> I'm never going to forget that game as well. I don't know this bug, I think, Fro. Draenei is not strong enough without flute, Macon, and boots. What the fuck? Flutus pipe, I think.
Yeah, I'm happy that it seems like a lot of people are equally dissatisfied with their meta. Oh, watermelon, uh, watermelon cat guy is out. He was one of the guys doing very well point wise, but his stetch. Yeah, they're not playing uh, Hunter Elf. I think Hunter Elf is just very, very tough to play right now. And, like, it loses to a lot of things. It can still win a lot of things, but I would also not really be playing Hunter Elf. Like, maybe if you got Trident and you got, like, a lot of Elves early. But, I mean, you also know I would be playing stupid shit if I played in this tournament. I would be playing fucking Mind Warriors reroll with Shrink. I would be playing... Uh, Terrorblade Hunters of Terrorblade Sins. I really want to play Terrorblade Sins. But the truth is, it's just better to just go Akira, Draenei, Lina, uh, Demons, Meepo. Under the Akira, for sure. <laughs> Yo, this fucking Rubik. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, 1874 should have a good shot this game. He was wind streaking into good late game. Should be good for him. With that being said, it is not the easiest time right now. If Mo Shaomo wins a few more rounds, he should be in a really good spot. Then huge took twenty two damage. So relics. What do people need? March, risky. Rapture good. Weaponsmith good. Card really, really, really good for Moshamo. Ooh, Moshamo might. Oh, well, Gyro 2 star, that's amazing. He needs to find one Ogama Jai. He's going to roll hard for that. Oh, Lin Huge is dead. Billy is dead. Damn, this is it's it's staying close. Also, then huge only got one point here, right? He only got one point, so he's on thirty. He's on thirteen points, which means that even if he wins next game, like we'll have at least two games more for sure. No, we'll have three games more at least, right? This will be on thirteen, twenty-one, twenty-two. Yeah, I guess maybe someone. Uh, actually, maybe seven. Oh, we'll see. I mean, potentially, 777 could win this one, next one, and then the third one. But I feel like this he's going to have a hard time getting first place in a game with the way he plays. Pretty Playing pretty, pretty safe. Dorian playing Demons, level 10. I was about to say good health, but good health is being a bit generous, but looks like a very good game for him. 
No one can get 22 points this game. No one can get 22 points this game. Someone can get 22 games next uh, game, probably. The thing. Undead for a cure, undead for a cure. Demons, Goblin Drain Eye, and Nine Elf. I'm not saying that this meta is predictable, but it's kind of predictable. Oh my damn. Oh, this is something we've seen before. No, like we'll have two games more at least. Probably we'll have three games, but two games at least. Exactly, Mr. Mojo, that's how I'm feeling. Insane variety of builds. Whoa. Whoa. The big question is, does he beat Doyen? Because Doyen is the guy he needs to beat. He's just going to roll hard here for, like, hopefully a gyro upgrade. Come on, double gyro. Channel your Indra, your inner uh, Oliver. Double gyro. Gyro. The copter. Doyen, this is the guy I'm worried about him playing. He does have uh, he does have Lincolns, and there's no blink on the lion here. Okay, he wins. Nice. Does he win this though? Oh, does he go six warlocks? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, so we are seeing a little bit of like late game finesse here. We're seeing a little bit of late game finesse. That's cool. Very nice. It's nice. Six Warlocks, uh, Drain Eye. We've seen this before. If he gets uh, one Ogre, he can sell this. That is kind of the dream. One Ogre, and you can sell this, and you can go Ogre, Drain Eye, Warlock. That would be really cool. Let's see which item he gets. MKB, Gleipnir. I would like... Does he really pick... I prefer Gleipnir so much here. The attack speed I think is great. Ogre Magi, nice. Bye-bye. He ditches the... Okay, and then he goes for Elementals. I like this. Should probably eat the uh, the morphling over the enigma. I prefer Gleipnir, but me. Doyen is out.
Oh, uh, and Mo Shaomo is dead as well. Don't, wouldn't you rather eat the morphling here or the siren? I guess it's nice having a stronger. No, it's because he has a cloak on the. He has cloak of tyrants on the gyro, so he gets all active synergies. This gyro is a uh, wizard. Elemental Ogre Warlock. And you won, GG. And Demon True. Well, this was also a very easy game for him. Uh, win streak into good relic playing Goblin Drain Eye. Like, nice game, nice game. He definitely needed that win because his other games have gone terribly.